Ever felt like your Node.js services are shouting at each other with REST calls and nobody's listening on time? In this video, I'll show you how Kafka plus Node.js can turn your backend into a clean, event-driven system instead of a spaghetti of APIs. Kafka is a distributed event streaming platform. Instead of one service calling another directly, services send events to Kafka and other services consume those events whenever they're ready. That means loose coupling, better scalability, and built-in replay of events. You just need five core concepts. Topics are like named streams of messages. Partitions split a topic so Kafka can scale and process in parallel. A producer sends messages to a topic. A consumer reads messages from a topic. And a consumer group is how you scale. Kafka assigns partitions across consumers automatically. In Node.js, the most popular library is Kafka.js. It's pure JavaScript, easy to use, and perfect for microservices. Here's a simple producer. We create a Kafka client, connect a producer, and send a message to the topic order events. The payload is just JSON, perfect fit for Node.js. On the other side, this is a consumer. It joins the group payment group, subscribes to order events, and processes each message. If you run more instances with the same group ID, Kafka automatically balances partitions between them. That's horizontal scaling for free. This is where Kafka shines with Node.js microservices. An order service emits order underscore created. A payment service consumes it and charges the customer. An email service also consumes it and sends a confirmation mail. None of them call each other directly. They all just listen to events. REST is fine for request, response, like get user details. But for events, like order created, payment failed, email sent, Kafka gives you asynchronous processing, replay of old events, and insane throughput compared to chaining REST calls. In real projects, you also care about idempotent consumers so reprocessing doesn't double charge customers, retry queues and dead letter topics for failures, choosing a good partition key to keep related events ordered, and proper offset management so you don't lose or reread too many messages. That's your crash course on Kafka in Node.js. If you want a deeper dive into Kafka microservices, retries, and DLQs in Node, tell me in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.